and I haven't been around in a while. I haven't been up on uh, YouTube as far as to put some more videos, but I hopefully I am back. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm still using my camcorder because my other one's not working. So bear with me. Anyways, one of the things I've been learning to do is to use my sewing machine. And I'm quite fascinated with the uh, Traveler's Notebooks portfolios that you can make that open up and carry your um, Traveler's Notebook, but also where you can put things like your receipts and your passports and any other things. So this is one that I just finished not too long ago and this is up online on eBay and I will put the link uh, below. So um, it comes together with this and this tie is sewn on the back here so it's not going to be coming loose. And let's see if we can open it so you can see it really well. I love this material. It's from um, Hobby Lobby, I believe. I think. I don't know. Anyways, let's open it up and see. All right. So I do have a um, traveler's notebook in here, and I will show that to you. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it out. Okay, so we can see this actual piece itself. This is about eight and three quarters by approximately 15. Yeah, about 15. So that's the size of this one. And what it has is, I'll show you on this side. Oops, pull it up here. All right, and this is a kind of a shabby chic style. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fray. And that's okay, that's what we want it to do. So here's the pockets, and I took some of the material and put it on it. This is kind of like a duck cloth, only I think it's a little bit stronger, the white is. And then here's what holds your traveler's notebook in. And here is another pocket. And again, that material. So like I said, it's, let me show you on the top here, maybe I can show this to you. Um, it's the shabby chic type of thing. It's, it's uh, fraying, and that's what we want it to do. But it'll stop when it gets down to the sewing lines. So you don't have to worry about that it's going to get ruined and you won't have it anymore. And inside of this fits this. And this is a traveler's notebook that I made. And it goes in like this. And then what you do is, let me see, i got to make sure I've got the front and the back. Okay, this goes in first, this goes up here, and then it gets tied like this. So, whoop, I'm out of frame here. There we go. And then it just gets tied. So, these are so nice because you can actually, you can carry them in your purse. Um, you can carry them in your luggage. It doesn't matter. They can lay flat. They fold down. And I will take the traveler's notebook out just to show you. I'll move this over to the side. So this is the front part of the book. And I'm not going to go crazy with it, but we'll just take a look at it. And it's got some travel uh, maps on it, things like that, and things where you can write. Let me put that up here so you can see that. Our vacation. All right. So and this is good. Um, not chipboard, but it is certainly... Uh, good and strong materials. And inside here, um, that's just a little tag for you to write on. It's got another little pocket. And then on the top it says destination. And these are the pages. I'm going to put them here and I'll just fold them over this way. So these are the pages. Some a lot of blank pages. A lot of them where you can put notes. Some blank ones some decorative ones. I think this turned out, I was really pleased with the way it turned out. If I can only turn the pages, we're going to be all set. All right. So, and we've got washi tape on here and it's not a junk junk journal, but you know, it's kind of somewhere in between, I guess. Um, but I think that to, to document a trip that you took would be just wonderful being able to use this. And with the portfolio, you can always put things in it and hold it. This is a piece of, um, yeah, can't even remember the name of it. Anyways, glassine paper. Um, all right. 
Then we have some lined paper here, and I've reinforced it with some washi tape. So you can see there's a lot of things in here. I think this is 30 pages total. And there's the inside, but so and then we have the same thing going through the back. So that's what goes into this little one. Oops, I better open it up so it goes in the center. When you put it in, you do do it in the center. So, and this is just some some waxed type string binding. So we can fold it over, fold it over like that, over like that, and tie it up. So that one led me to another one. Now this one doesn't have, I don't believe it has a notebook in it, but now this is a photocopy. Oh, I think I can show you right here. This is a photocopy of this material. And I just printed it on a piece of material on my computer. So it's kind of darkened, and, and I like the way it came out. This one doesn't have its tie on it yet, but it's, again, kind of a shabby chic. See all the little strings on the bottom and, of course, on the top. So we'll open it up. And this one has a couple different um, pockets. It has this pocket here. Let's see. And it's got this pocket here. And behind this pocket is another pocket. So if you had a bunch of papers or you wanted to save something and you wanted to, to keep it, you could put your documents in here. You could put your everything in here. So this is an envelope, and as you can see it. And then it's still going to close really, really nicely. So take that one out. <clears throat> And then this will is the center part will have a traveler's notebook in it. And this is the pocket. Oh, I'm just really crazy this morning. I've had vertigo, and I want to tell you, it's driving me nuts. I can't stand it. All right, so you can go inside of this pocket, or you can go inside of this pocket. So actually, there's two, four five different pockets to use. And also on this one is to hold your pen or pencil. So these have been a lot of fun to make and it gives you a chance to really, um, I wanted to use that machine and get some, learn how to use it better. So that's been a great help. Now this one here, <coughs> excuse me, this one here is huge. It was the first one I made, and I measured wrong, <laughs> but I'm going to fix it. So this is the front of it. This has got shabby chic here on it. This is also printed on material, and it's got a tie. I'm going to lay it this way so you can see how big it is. It's just ridiculous. All right, let me measure. This is dot 15, I can tell you that much. Uh, 12. Oh, wait. This should be eight and a half, and this is like 11 inches. So I, I'm going to need, unless, I don't know, maybe someone would want one this big, but I'm going to need to probably cut it off somewhere along here. But anyways, we can still take a look at it on the inside. So here we go. And again, this is really sturdy, sturdy. This is almost a canvas material. All right. So here we go. All right. Now... I'm going to get it over here so you can see it. Whoa! All right, so we have another pocket here, and then behind the pocket, again, we have another one. This centerpiece that you see, this is to hold your notebook. It slides in just like the other one. I'll use this just to show you. Um, you could slide it right in here and close it up. So, and then on the... <clears throat> back page or whatever are two more. Get them over here. All right, so two pockets here, two pockets here. And then again, it folds over like this, back over like this, and 
it ties up. So those are the projects I've been working on and I will put um, I will put the links below to my eBay. I do have the One Travelers up there right now. I don't have the other two up there at the moment, but if you're interested, let me know and, and um, we can talk about it. So that's what I've been up to, and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making them. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.